Hello Dream 11 users, welcome back to my channel. So today's third match to be played between Hobart Hurricanes Humans vs Perth Scorchers Humans. So firstly coming to the pitch report. So it's the 51st match to be played on North Sydney Oval Ground. So match time 10.10 am Indian Standard Time match date 21st November. So average first inning score in this ground 145. So if any team scores more than 145 will fancy their chances of winning the match. So batting first to one year 80% of the matches. So the teams who have batted first in this ground have won 80% of their matches. So it shows that chasing will be difficult in this pitch. So it's a balanced pitch. So both batters and bowlers will get, get equal assistance. So spinners tend to get more assistance from this pitch. So the key point to remember, so Brisbane Heat humans are not performing with the bat from recent matches. So they are so showing poor performance with the bat. So this is the key thing to keep in mind. So coming to the head to head in last two years. So Hobart Hurricanes won one matches, Perth Scotches humans won two matches. So coming to the last match performance. So the last match was uh, the washed away due to rain so i will talk about the uh, the individual team who performed in, la in the last matches so perch coaches woman played against brisbane heat humans so in that match perch coaches woman scored 137 runs for the loss of eight wickets in 20 overs so beth muni scored excellent 49 runs so cholia Pepero scored 17 mk mitchell scored 35 runs so from the bowling department Scored Sarah Glenn picked up four wickets, Pascal picked up one wicket, and Heather Grandma picked up one wicket. So, Perth Scotches woman lost that match while defending. So, in the last match, so coming to the Hobart Hurricanes, so they played against Melbourne Stars women. So, they scored 120 for the loss of eight wickets in 20 overs. So this they lost the match while chasing. So Priest scored 24, Nicola Carey scored 23, Kersha scored 15, Stamberg scored 11, Tryon scored 18 runs. So from the bowling department, Blenda Vareka picked up two wickets and Chole Refetri picked up one wicket. So they lost the match while chasing the total. So coming to the batting order of both the teams. So from Mobot Hurricanes, Priest and Nicola Carey going to open the innings. So Eric Kershaw comes at number 3, Stambler comes at number 4, Tryon comes at number 5, Jensen comes at number 6, Corinne Hall at 7, Thompson at 8, Amy Spith at 9, Varaka at 10 and Refratory at 11. So this is the last match is the batting order. So in this match they may change the batting order. So, so this is the batting order of Hobart Hurricane. So coming to the Perth Scotches women, so the Beth Mooney and Charlie Pepper open innings. So Sophia Devine did not play from last two matches so she is expected to come back in this match. So this is the last match batting order. So Beth Moon and Jolly Pepper opened the innings. So MN Ellie Jones came at number 3, Heather Grandma at 4, Bolton at 5, Kim Mitchell at 6, Gemma Babsi at 7, Ben Banting at 8, Pascal at 9, Sarah Glenn at 10 and Samantha Betts at 11. So these are the batting orders of both the teams. So coming to the top performer at this venue so at this particular ground Nicola Carey performed well Emily Jones Beth Mooney Healy Matthews and Blenta Vareka so these players performed well at this ground so coming to the last five match states about the, both the teams of so Perth coaches women lost lost two matches and won three matches so they won chasing two matches and defending one match so lost while chasing one and defending one match. So coming to the Hobart Hurricanes. So they lost three matches and won only two matches. So chasing they lost two defending lost one. So one chasing one and defending one. So this is the last five match sets of both the teams. So coming to the Grand League picks of today's match. Going to me MN Ellie Jones, Kemichel, Nicolo Bolton, Chola Tryon and Amy Smith. So these players are going to be the Grand League pick for today's match. So coming to the team. So firstly talk about the small league team. So it's a small league team. 
so from wicket keeper department i have gone with beth mooney so she is a very good option so hope out your weekends batsmen are not performing well so i am dropping priest for this small league team so i am going with only beth mooney so coming to the batting department i have gone with three batters stamblerg chole uh, paipero and kemil chal so kemil chal performed well in last two matches so i am going with kemil chal and chole paipero from perch coaches humans and stamblerg from hobart hurricanes humans so coming to the all rounder department so i have gone with four all rounders so sophie divine heather grandma so sophie divine did not play in last two matches so but she is expected to come back so if she does not play you can make ch- other changes so you can pick nicolo bolton or you can pick priest instead of sophie divine so so i'm going with sophie divine and heather grandma from the perth coaches humans and nicola carey and hale matthews so hale matthews also did not play in the last match but she will definitely going to come back in this match so coming to the bowling department so i have gone with three bowlers so sara glen ten pascal and blenda vareka so both are all three bowlers bowls four overs of their quota so they are in very good form so it's a small league team you cannot take risk with the players who are picked by less number of people so coming to the captain and vice captain so for a small league team so i am going with sophie divine as a captain and hale matthews as a vice captain so if sophie divine does not play in this match so if if she does not play so you can make other changes so you can pick priest or nicolo bolton instead of sophie divine so you can change captain of so you can give the captaincy to beth muni so if if the sophie divine does not play in this match you can give the captaincy to beth muni she is very good form so you can make changes after after the toss so this is the team for today's small league match so small league team so coming to the so coming to the grand league team so this is the grand league team so i have dropped beth muni for this match so for this grand league team so i am going with priest from hobart hurricane humans so coming to the batting department so i have gone with chole paipero and emily jones so emily jones batted at number 3 in the last match so she is expected to come back so is a very good player for england team so very good player for england team so she is a very good uh, scorer for the england team so so did not perform from last last from in the season he did she did not perform so but she is expected to come back so if she scores can score big in the match so she is going to be the grand league pick for today's match so i am going with tamberg lurk from hobart hurricanes and jolly piper from perth coaches humans so three batters from the batting department so coming to the all rounder department so i have gone with sophie divine and heather grandma so the same combination so and nicola carey and chole tryon so i am going with chole tryon as a grand league pick for today's match so she is going to be a very good option so she go gonna bowl two or three overs so if she gets a chance she is a very good batter can score big if she gets a chance so she is going to be a very good pick for today's grand league match so you can change if sophie divine does not play you can go with nicola bolton or hayley matthews so this is the grand league team So coming to the bowling department so I have gone with Amy Smith as a grand league pick so the spinner tends to get more assistance from this pitch so I gone with Amy Smith so she is a spinner so off off break bowler so I have gone with Amy Smith and I have gone with Sara Glen and Tan Pascal from the Perth Coaches Humans so coming to the captain and vice captain so I have gone with Nicolo Carey as a captain and Heather Grandma as a vice captain so I'm go- going with different options. So only four percent of the people have selected her as a captain, and only seven percent of the people have selected her as a vice captain. So this is the team for today's Grand League. So it's a Grand League team. Do make changes after the toss. So if Sophie Divine does not play, you can change. So you can pick Beth Moon instead of Sophie Divine. So 
सो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग सो डू मेक चेंजेस ऑफ द टॉस सो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग